Jewish Y-DNA Branch, AB-016, An In-Depth Exploration. Introduction. Branch AB-016 is a captivating and robust segment of Jewish Y-DNA composed of three significant sub-branches. The time to most recent common ancestor, TMRCA, for these lineages is noteworthy for the unique structure and size of the branches. Two of these sub-branches have undergone next-generation sequencing, NGS, testing, revealing distinct genetic characteristics. The first sub-branch is marked by the DNA signature DYS, a striking multi-step mutation. At present, there are no known Jewish ancestors from the Western segments of Ashkenazi or Sephardic lineage represented within this branch. However, it is postulated that the Western Ashkenazi member of this group, identified as Drucker, likely arrived around the year 1700 in Amsterdam, tracing their origins to the Eastern Ashkenazi communities. For those interested in more comprehensive data, Jeffrey D. Wexler provided an insightful study on this Ashkenazi branch for FTDNA in 2019. This branch is classified within the T group of Jewish branches and belongs to the broader Ashkenazi ancestral branches. Avotenu lineage, AB 016, TBY 11520, extends an invitation to explore further through our webpage. This is especially relevant if your Y-DNA results closely align with other Jewish individuals participating in the groundbreaking Avotenu DNA study. The research tracks the migratory patterns of Ashkenazi, Sephardi, and Mizrahi populations across the span of 3,000 years. The Avotenu DNA Study this ambitious study involves a global academic collaboration featuring top-tier scholars and geneticists from prestigious institutions like the Technion, New York University, Columbia University, the University of Haifa, and the University of Denver. By engaging with this study, participants receive insights into their unique lineages and the rich history of their paternal ancestry. The initiative is ethically driven and adheres to rigorous institutional review board approvals from esteemed organizations such as Technion Rambam Medical Center and NYU Winthrop. Participants do not provide direct access to their DNA. Instead, they share selected numerical results of genealogical interest publicly available through Family Tree DNA, FTDNA. The project does not retain any detailed data on its website beyond what is disidentified and outlined in this letter. By joining our study, participants will gain a deeper understanding of their paternal lineage. We are actively enriching our database, currently featuring several thousand Ashkenazi participants, by surveying additional lineages. These include Sephardim, Mizrahim, Italkim, and other non-Ashkenazi communities in diverse geographical regions like the Caribbean, Europe, Italy, and Turkey. Avatenu Research Partnership LLC, encompassing 11,836 members, includes only 15 individuals from TBY11520. This lineage diverged from its ancestor, TY28905, and the broader human population approximately around 1000 BCE. Based on genetic data, there's a 95% probability that TY28905 was born between 1641 and 1641, 461 BCE, projected developments in genetic testing and more comprehensive methods may refine these estimates. Currently, the most recent common ancestor, MRCA, of this lineage is estimated to have lived around 800 CE. This is concluded with a 95% probability of birth between 498 and 1063 CE, with the probable date approximated at 810 CE. The lineage has given rise to at least two descendant branches, known as TY34308 and TY76424. Presently, there are 32 DNA-tested descendants linked to countries such as Hungary, Belarus, Poland, and seven other nations. This self-reported data from Family Tree DNA participants marks the earliest known origins on their direct paternal lines. 
The genealogical journey continues with opportunities to explore which of the 18 TBY1520 branches and encompassing 10 countries you might belong to. With the most advanced Y-DNA testing methods available, uncover more about your ancestral story. In summary, the Jewish branches designated under Group T illustrate a rich tapestry of ancestral journeys and demographic developments marked by their distinct Y-DNA characteristics. These branches span periods dating from 10,000 to 4,000 years before present, highlighting varying historical narratives of Jewish ancestry. Some branches experienced a significant founding father effect in regions outside the Middle East, shedding light on their ancestors' locations during this pivotal period. For other branches, ancestral roots likely remained within the Middle East, where steady population growth occurred without such a pronounced effect. The T haplogroups, containing small percentages of ancestors from outside the Middle East, form a cohesive group of 13 branches. Notably, it is believed that two sets of branches shared common ancestors around the inception of Judaism, suggesting their conversion in the Middle East. Within these branches, further analysis reveals four closely related groups identified by short tandem repeat (STR) distances. These connections include individuals from Spain, Spain paired with El Salvador, Puerto Rico, and Spain once more, showing a diverse geographical spread. Interestingly, it appears these T haplogroups were not among the earliest Jewish populations to arrive in the Ashkenazi regions. Instead, historical movements likely saw these groups partially residing in Iberia and the Middle East, before some subsequently migrated to Ashkenazi territories. Furthermore, the presence of haplogroup T is notably scarce among non-Jewish populations in the eastern Ashkenazi regions, such as Lithuania, Poland, and Ukraine. Despite this, about 50 individuals with known Jewish branches in these areas contrast sharply with the more prevalent occurrences in Germany and Western Europe, where non-Jewish haplogroup T members are more common. It's about identifying the hotspots on the map, and then we observe a template that we apply to any other branches. The same standard is we see Poland, Ukraine, Lithuania on a branch, then Spain, Portugal, and Puerto Rico, clearly a similar pattern that DNA migration and the history match perfectly. This is what we hope to use the ancient DNA like Erfurt and Norwich with the data from the Holy Land, like Abelbeth Maka, Iron Age Levant Biblical Site, Tel Megiddo Bronze Age Biblical Site of Armageddon to the enigmatic ossuaries of Pekin Israel in the Galilee land allotment of Naphtali, and then looking at modern population diversity overlapping and the higher percentages of T, for example. Today, I want to showcase the branch. The TFTA 62495, story TFTA 62495's paternal line was formed when it branched off from the ancestor TFTE 53472 and the rest of mankind around 1350 CE. He is the ancestor of at least two descendant lineages known as TFTF7, 1482, and one yet unnamed lineage. There are four DNA-tested descendants, and they specified that their earliest known origins are from Palestinians and Israelis. The upstream is TB251, and it's 100% Levinite indigenous Y-DNA currently in the Holy Land, with big Y-DNA 700, very near the Abel Beth Maka Iron Age Levant, Biblical Age Holy Land, data. Abel Beth Maka 2201 was a man who lived between 1014, 836 BCE during the Levant Iron Age and was found in the region now known as Abel Beth Mayaka, Matula, Holy Land. He was associated with the Galilean cultural group. Thank you for watching. Let's keep it science data and research based. Take care.